All right, welcome back to the Knives Vast channel. Guys, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powdered Toast Man and Log and TV. And let's get started. And I'm not pointing. Log and TV. Look at that. I don't know. I'm losing it. No, I was over here um, preparing on my computer, which I should have already done before I got on here. So this is uh, the uh, Artisan Aryan. Now, this is a, I'll call this a review but it's really more like a recap because you guys have seen, and I'll try to link down below, both the full size and the small size Arian from Artisan uh, in the um, the titanium frame lock with the double coral micardal, micardal, micarta scale. This, however, is a budget version from White Mountain Knives as an exclusive. This, and he still has some left. So these are $85.69, so almost $86. Plus you get 10% off with the code KNIVESFAST at checkout. Don't forget that. 10% off. KNIVESFAST at checkout. The blade steel is AR RPM 9. Um, and again, it's got that awesome, awesome uh, micarta. We'll talk about drab green micarta. Uh, this is a full-size knife, guys. This is a... Uh, what is the full-size? Um... Oh, come on. I know what the overall length is. Really, it's not listed. But, um, all right, hold on. Uh, let's see. Where is... We're going we're gonna to do a comparison here that will help me know how long this knife is. Uh, here is the Mach 51, which is 8 inches. Oh, my goodness. I don't have enough room in the tray here. Uh, so, the, the Mach 51 is an 8-inch knife. And you can see that the Arian is just a little bigger than that. Um, looks like it, the handle might have another uh, eighth of an inch and the blade might be about the same. So uh, there you go. There's your your comparison right up front for those of you that have seen the Tempest Knives uh, Mach 51. So it comes in uh, this box, which is a pretty simple uh, box and you've got the Made in China. It's just a there's rat poison in there, and then that's it. But it does come in this drawstring bla blag, uh, which picks up every bit of dust, and uh, a, um, a plastic bag in there. And then you get the artisan uh, specifications. There's the model number, ARRPM9, uh, the blade hardness, the micarta, uh, ceramic ball bearing, and CNC machine process. And there's your care and maintenance uh guide from artisan so really really cool again this is an exclusive so uh the blade length is 3.81 again there you go it is a little longer because the uh, mach 51 is uh three and a half inches 3.5 uh, the blade thickness is 0.13 nice and thin and slicey i just have loved this the handle is thin the blade is thin uh you guys know i loved the original uh, and uh, there's this one. So um, flat grind, of course, AR RPM 9, and it is a uh, liner lock. And as far as the handle uh, length, again, I think that's just over four and a half inches. And as you can see, that leaves you plenty of room left, left over. There is not a sharpening, uh, sharpening, there is a sharpening choil. There is not a finger choil, but you have plenty of room. You do have jimping up here. Uh, in this area, and a nice flat spine ab above that if you want to get further up. Uh, really, really cool. And again, this thing feels so great in the hand. I just love the way it feels. Now, as far as billboarding, you got the Artisan logo. Look at that awesome satin finish. You guys know I love that. Uh, you got the Cerberus Knives logo. Chris from Cerberus is who designed this. There's your serial number and your steel mark and China down here at the bottom. But this micarta, guys, is super grippy. Uh, it is um, the kind of micarta that takes in your skin oils rather than one that's just loaded with resin. Um, and you've got a lanyard post back here in a micarta backspacer, which I just think looks wonderful. You do have chamfering, but it is kind of... Um, it, 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 it it doesn't feel like a hot spot, but there, like right in here, you can definitely feel that it's more squared off. I wish that was rounded ever so slightly. And then you got this little point back here at the back. Uh, isn't really a big deal because my hand's never back there. Um, but again, if that was just rounded off a little bit more, that would probably be better. You do have black screws, a black clip, which is uh, right hand tip up only. And it is... Praise be, uh, it, it, 
uh, wow, countersunk down into the scale. Wow, if I could talk. Uh, there is a little bit of skeletonization on the um, on the show side. And again, just I can't say enough about this micarta. So grippy, but it's soft and feels nice. I'm really digging it um, and all that. Now, as far as action goes, uh, I love a knife with uh, a thumb hole. In this case, you got a thumb hole. And then you've also got uh, the ability to middle finger flick it as well. Very, very nicely. The detent uh, is good on this one. Detent test. There you go. Really nice. Um, works well for me. Uh, now, as far as uh, clearance to the lock, you got a little bit there, but you still kind of got to dig your thumb. It is uh, kind of a stout lock, um, but again, it works. Now, lock up on mine. I don't know how the rest of them are. I wish the lock up was just a little more. This one is maybe a 10. Gosh, I won't focus. There we go. Yeah, I, I wish it was a little bit more on the lockup, guys. Um, and again, centering is a little bit off to the clip side. And again, lockup is probably about a 10. Uh, just a little bit more would make me a little bit happier on this one. Now, there is, uh, I said it was stout. The reason it's stout is there's a little bit, let's see if you can hear it. Could you hear? No, you can't hear that, can you? I can hear it, but I doubt you can. There's a tiny bit of lock stick. Is it enough to bug me? No. Uh, but, uh, you know, there is. So so now, what do you usually, when you get a 10 on a lockup, you worry that the lock's going to fail. In this case, I've got a lock, lock stick. So I know the lock's not going to fail. It's definitely not. There is no lock rock, no blade play. Nope. Uh, and uh, really well done. It is riding on bearings, as we said, and it is. It drops for, with one little shake. Uh, drops to your thumb first, obviously, on that choil. See? And then one shake gets her down. Really nice. So I'm digging this knife. Again, I'm not going to go much deeper than that because you guys can go back and watch my original Arian review, which is obviously a titanium frame lock, and this is a steel liner lock. Um, but yeah, it's well done. Again, there's a couple of little nicks that I put in there. Uh, but again, $85.86 um, and 10% off at White Mountain Knives with the code KNIVESFAST. So guys, check it out. Maybe it's one you're interested in. I know a lot of you already picked it up. So guys, they're still there. So check it out uh, if you want. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And thank you ever so much for watching uh, all the time and for supporting the channel in so many different ways, guys. Check out the description for all kinds of links and helpful information and uh, some information on how to join the channel if you're interested in supporting. Uh, but guys, subscribe if you're not. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.